Hello everyone, so welcome back to Dilip IT Academy and my name is Dilip Singh. So as part of our microservices and Spring Boot sessions, so far we completed all important components especially we are using in our day to day real time application development is like API gateway as well as service registry, service discovery and we completed config server implementation as well as config lines implementation right so now in today's topic we are going to see the most important topic which we are going to work on every day as part of our microservices application which we used to call it as microservices communication so that means we have to make sure somehow one microservice is talking to another microservice based on the requirement point of view or whenever we want to execute a functionality of another microservice from different microservices right so this is what we are going to call it as microservices communication so now this microservices communication is categorized again into two categories one is synchronized communication and second one is asynchronized communication so that means we know what is a synchronization what is asynchronization right so synchronization point of view it's all about whenever client sent a request until and unless the request got completed that means the request execution completed and receiving the response we cannot initiate another request from the same client right that is what we are going to consider it as a synchronous that means one request another after another request so when it comes to asynchronous communication what will happen the client will send simultaneous requests but it will never wait for the responses to trigger other requests right so that is what about asynchronous communication so as part of this session especially first and foremost we are focusing on synchronized communication that means how we are achieving especially how we are enabling api calls in between one microservice to another microservice and how it is a simplified process given by the spring cloud framework nothing but spring cloud fin clients so how we are implementing the fin clients or what is the concept of open fin clients so how we are achieving the easy way of microservices communication as part of our spring cloud architecture point of view we are going to see in this session along with that we are going to see the difference between rest template usage as well as fin client with respect to interview perspective point of view also we are going to see all the information as a hands on session in this session right away if you want to know all these scenarios with respect to real time use cases and real time scenarios as part of microservices application development full sessions are available on my youtube channel from there you can start learning and you can become master as part of microservices application development so these microservices sessions knowledge straight away it will take you to the job opportunities that means you know the importance of microservices knowledge nowadays to gain your job right